are in Mathematics 5 and we are going to study about identifying the base percentage and rate in a problem. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify the base percentage and rates in word problems. Value base percentage and rates to understand daily life experiences and solve for the base percentage and rate. Now, let us try to answer learning task 1. Number 1, Ashong makes a monthly donation of 1,000 pesos for the calamity victims through a reputable charity organization. If his donation is 5% of his monthly salary, how much is his salary? Which of the following is asked in the problem? A. Base B. Rate C. Percentage D. Proportion In number 2, a farmer harvested 130 sacks of corn. He sold 85% of his harvest. How many sacks of corn did he sell? Which of the following is asked in the problem? A. Base B. Rate C. Percentage D. Proportion Number 3. Princess, a grade 5 pupil, had a notebook with 30 pages. If she used 10 pages, what percent of the pages of the notebook did she use? Which of the following is asked in the problem? A. Base B. Rate C. Percentage D. Proportion Number 4. Which of the following can be done in solving for, for the percentage? A. Add the rate and the base B. Multiply the rate and the base C. Divide the rates by the base. D. Subtract the rates from the base. Like what we had in our past lesson, percentages are like fractions and decimals. They can be used to describe the proportion of a whole and its parts. Percentage is a term from a Latin word which means out of 100. We may therefore consider percentage as part of a whole. The whole or total is the base. The number with the percent symbol is the rate. Here we have the Tekans triangle, which we can see that P stands for percentage, B is for base, and R is for rate. How do we use Tekans triangle? We will derive our formula from this triangle. The formula for percentage is P equals to R multiplied by B. For us to solve for the base, the formula must be B is equal to P divided by R. And for the rate, it will be R is equal to P divided by B. Using the formula that we got from the second triangle, let us now study our example. Emmy is excited to go to the supermarket with her mother. Their shopping list includes condensed milk, full cream milk, graham crackers, and mangoes. The graham crackers cost 60 pesos per pack, but is being sold at 10% discount. How much will she save per pack if she buys the Graham crackers? Note that the price of the Graham crackers is now 10% less than the original price. This means that 10% of the original price is the savings that Emmy will get. Therefore, we need to get 10% of 60 pesos. It is the percentage. In solving the problem, 
P is equal to R times B, which is rate is equal to 10% and then the base is 60 pesos. So it means that percentage is equal to 10% times 60 pesos. That becomes 10 over 100 times 60 is equal to 600 over 100. 600 divided by 100 is equal to 6 and that becomes 6 pesos. From the problem, we have learned that 10% of 60 pesos is 6 pesos. Note that 10% is the rate, the expression with the percent symbol. The percentage is part of the whole or part of 60 pesos, which is 6 pesos. The base is the total or the whole amount, which is 60 pesos. To simplify further the analysis of the problem, we have here a model containing 10 boxes, which represents the original price of 60 pesos, and that is also our base. Now, we get the 10% discount, which is the rate, and we come up to the percentage of 6 pesos. So, we deduct 6 pesos to the original price of 60 pesos. We come up with a new price of 54 pesos. Now, ME has a savings of 6 pesos per pack. For our assessment, do the following directions. Read and understand the givens. Choose the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. <music> 